Our out of this world lead is way out of this world, 390 light years away, in fact. For context, one light year is equivalent to 6 trillion miles. In humanity's relentless pursuit of unraveling the mysteries of the cosmos, we've embarked on a quest that goes beyond time itself, seeking answers to age-old questions woven into the fabric of existence. The James Webb Space Telescope, with its unblinking eye, recently detected a glimpse of a structure predating the birth of stars. This celestial object appeared to be older than the universe itself, raising more questions than it answers. How could a structure exist that predates our universe? Or is the Big Bang Theory at fault? Join us as we embark on an odyssey guided by the revelations of the James Webb Telescope. The secrets of a 13.8 billion year old structure await, and the journey to unravel cosmic mysteries has only just begun. In a distant corner of the cosmos, roughly 200 light years away, an ancient star called HD 114283 resides near the Libra constellation. This stellar traveler moves briskly through space, offering intriguing glimpses into its tumultuous past. Some 12 billion years ago, during a time when our Milky Way was still in its infancy, it absorbed a dwarf galaxy that once called it home. Yet what truly captivates our cosmic curiosity about HD 114283 isn't just its speedy journey, but its astonishing age. Among the celestial entities we've observed, it stands as one of the oldest, earning the endearing moniker Methuselah Star, akin to the biblical figure Methuselah, who, legend has it, lived for 969 years. Initially estimated to be a staggering 16 billion years old, the latest calculations suggest a slightly younger age of 14.46 billion years, with an uncertainty of 0.8 billion years. This revelation about its age puzzled astronomers. After all, the age of the universe, deduced from the cosmic microwave background, hovers around 13.8 billion years. This conundrum raised important questions about the star's age, the universe's age, and even the accuracy of our dating methods. Let's break it down. Figuring out the age of celestial objects can be a real puzzle. Take stars, for instance. Like the sun, they're like eternal light bulbs, maintaining their glow, temperature, and size for billions of years, making them tricky to age date. Astronomers play cosmic detectives, using changes in brightness and color as clues, matching these with models predicting how stars change over time. One age giveaway is how fast a star twirls, like a wheel slowing down from friction, stars do too. By comparing the spinning speeds of stars at different ages, astronomers have figured out a cool trick called gyrochronology. Stars also spill their age secrets through magnetic gossip, flares and bursts of energy on a star's surface are like a star's youthful enthusiasm. As a star ages, this show slows down. Astronomers, being the space sleuths they are, use advanced techniques like astroseismology, it's like eavesdropping on a star's inner conversation, listening to vibrations caused by waves traveling through its insides. These vibrations spill the beans on the star's age. For instance, applying this cosmic eavesdropping, astronomers roughly clocked the sun at 4.58 billion years. Now let's revisit Methuselah's star. The ancient aura around it isn't just random. Astronomers tagged it with a crazy old age by checking out its cosmic neighborhood. Stars can be split into categories based on how much bling, or heavy elements like iron, they have. Our sun is a bit of a metal head, belonging to population 1 stars. Methuselah star, on the other hand, is like an old-school rock star from population 2, rocking fewer heavy elements. It's this stellar bling-out that helps astronomers play cosmic archaeologists, deciphering the age tales of these celestial beings. Now imagine a group of stars, the theoretical population 3, which scientists believe might be like the universe's rare gems. While they're still hiding backstage and haven't made an appearance in our telescope spotlight, astronomers suspect these stars might be the rock stars of minimalism, containing almost no heavy elements. To understand this stellar lineup, let's rewind to the universe's early days after the Big Bang. Imagine a cosmic kitchen filled mostly with hydrogen and helium, like the universe's basic ingredients, about 92% hydrogen and 8% helium. Or, if we weigh them, roughly 75% hydrogen and 25% helium. In this cosmic symphony, the first actors on stage were the population three stars. They were massive and hot, burning through their cosmic fuel swiftly, transforming hydrogen and helium into heavier elements. When these early cosmic giants exploded, they scattered these heavy elements into the vast cosmic space. Next in line were the population 2 stars, forming a bit later but still in the universe's early days. Their original materials were light on heavy elements, especially iron. Many of them danced through their stellar life cycles, bursting into supernovas and adding more heavy elements to the universal mix. Finally, the population 1 stars, including our sun, emerged as cosmic latecomers. 
they formed from enriched gas clouds mingling with remnants from the earlier Population 2 stars. Some of these Population 2 stars also went out with a bang, contributing more heavy elements to the cosmic recipe. Now the big question, does this stellar story throw a cosmic curveball at the Big Bang Theory? It's a head-scratcher, but here's the twist. Considering the uncertainties, there's a 70% chance that Methuselah star, the ancient celestial wanderer, could be somewhere between 13.66 and 14.46 billion years old. The lower end even aligns with the age of the entire universe, and there's a 30% chance that this ancient celestial wanderer's age is playing outside the cosmic rulebook. Similarly, there's a 15% chance it's not just a little outside the box, but even younger. Imagine rolling a regular six-sided die and hoping for that elusive six, it's statistically plausible, right? But regardless of these cosmic curveballs, what's certain is that Methuselah star is not just a cosmic veteran, it's the granddaddy of stars. We've managed to give it an age tag that's pretty darn precise. Now here's where it gets mind-bending. Instead of scratching our heads about whether Methuselah star could be a couple of billion years older than its galactic neighbors, let's flip the cosmic script. What if the universe itself isn't as young as we once thought? Wrapping our minds around 13.8 billion years is like trying to fathom the vastness of space itself. If we turn the entire history of the universe into a cosmic calendar, with the Big Bang as the most spectacular New Year's fireworks, Earth wouldn't even join the celestial bash until the last seconds of December 31st human recorded history? Well, that's merely a blip in time, covering just the last 10 seconds. Our stellar detectives determine the universe's age by peering at ancient starlight born a few hundred million years post-Big Bang. As the universe stretches, it gives this light a cosmic makeover known as redshift. Crunching the numbers on both distance and expansion, scientists declared a universal age of 13.8 billion years. But hold on, because the cosmic plot thickens. A cosmic whiz from the University of Ottawa suggests the universe might be a whopping 26.7 billion years old. Professor Rajendra Gupta brings in a vintage theory from 1929, crafted by Swiss astronomer Fritz Zwicky, and it's shaking up our cosmic understanding. This theory throws a curveball, suggesting that as light particles, called photons, journey across the vastness of space and time, they lose some of their energy. Even though this idea doesn't perfectly align with what we've seen through our telescopes, Gupta proposes a cosmic compromise. He thinks we can blend this theory with our existing idea of an expanding universe, creating a sort of hybrid explanation for the redshift phenomenon. Now, fasten your seatbelts because adjusting the universe's age to a whopping 26.7 billion years is no small feat Gupta adds another spice to the cosmic mix by combining the tired light theory with the concept of evolving coupling constants, a brainchild of theoretical physicist Paul Dirac. This concept suggests that how particles interact may have changed over the eons. And hey, scientists have a history of tweaking the cosmic clock, back in the 1920s, Edwin Hubble thought the universe was just a mere 2 billion years old. We've come a long way since then. Refining our cosmic math, doubling the universe's age is like taking a giant leap in our cosmic understanding. But let's pause for a moment. Whether this new perspective becomes the cosmic norm is still up in the stars. Regardless of whether humanity's recorded history is a mere blip of 10 or 5 seconds in the grand scheme of the universe, one thing's clear, the cosmos is a treasure trove of ancient wonders and endless inspiration. Shifting our gaze to our cosmic backyard of the Milky Way, there's a captivating cosmic tango at play. Recent measurements hint that stars on the outskirts of our galaxy are strutting their stuff in slow motion compared to their counterparts in other galaxies. What's the cosmic scoop? Well, there are a couple of theories, and one whisper is that our Milky Way might be low on an invisible cosmic ingredient called dark matter, the elusive substance influencing the gravitational dance of celestial objects. There's a cosmic puzzle involving dark matter, the mysterious substance we can't see but that seems to play a gravitational tug-of-war in the cosmos. One possibility shaking our cosmic understanding is that maybe we've been looking at dark matter the wrong way. Our cosmic compass might be pointing in the wrong direction. Here. Essay twist to make you feel a bit like Sherlock Holmes of the cosmos. What if the Milky Way's missing dark matter is tied to the strange, warping effects it has on light, like a cosmic magnifying glass? In this alternative scenario, the idea of dark matter is replaced with a modification to our understanding of gravity itself. This concept, known as modified Newtonian dynamics, MOND, or even more radically, theories of emergent gravity, suggests that the gravitational pull we observe in galaxies could be different from the predictions of standard gravity, especially at large cosmic distances. Imagine gravity working one way in our solar system, but shifting gears in a galaxy's outskirts. 
While this idea remains controversial and hasn't yet dethroned dark matter in the Cosmic Hall of Fame, it's pushing the boundaries of how we think about the universe's invisible forces. Speaking of cosmic controversy, let's not forget the wild theories bubbling up from the universe's expansion itself. One of the biggest mysteries is whether our universe is speeding up its expansion, slowing down, or possibly looping back into itself like some kind of cosmic boomerang. The idea that the universe's expansion is accelerating due to a mysterious force known as dark energy has dominated cosmology for decades. But recent observations have thrown a wrench in the works. Some scientists are now suggesting that what we thought was a smooth, accelerating expansion might actually be fluctuating. This brings us to the next enigma, the Hubble tension. This cosmic debate revolves around two ways of measuring the universe's expansion rate. One method looks at nearby galaxies, while the other peaks at the cosmic microwave background, the leftover radiation from the Big Bang. But these two methods don't agree, creating a tension that's got cosmologists scratching their heads. Is it possible that something fundamental about our universe's structure is being overlooked? Could there be new physics hiding in the data? The deeper we dive, the more questions emerge. One tantalizing theory is that the universe might be older because time itself behaves differently in the early universe. This concept taps into something called time dilation, an effect where time seems to slow down or speed up depending on the context, such as near a massive object like a black hole. If the early universe had different properties, perhaps time flowed at a different rate, and we've been misinterpreting the cosmic clock. At the heart of this debate is the Big Bang itself. Did it happen exactly the way we think? While the theory remains robust, some scientists are proposing tweaks. One possibility is that our universe was born from the collapse of a previous universe, a concept known as the Big Bounce. In this model, our universe is part of an eternal cycle of expansion and collapse, with each Big Bang following the end of a previous universe. This could potentially explain why we see such ancient stars and structures. Another related idea is the multiverse hypothesis. In this model, our universe is just one of many, each with its own laws of physics, timelines, and histories. Some of these universes might be much older than ours, which could explain why we're seeing structures that don't fit neatly into our current understanding of the universe's age. Perhaps we're glimpsing echoes or fragments from a neighboring universe that existed long before ours was even born. In all these discussions, it's essential to remember that we're still at the frontier of discovery. The James Webb Space Telescope is peering further back in time than we've ever managed before, uncovering galaxies that formed mere hundreds of millions of years after the Big Bang. Each new discovery brings both excitement and uncertainty. What if the cosmic structures we're seeing predate our current understanding of the universe's timeline, not because they existed in this universe, but because they're remnants of something far older, from a time before our universe's birth? Ultimately, our journey into the cosmos is not just about finding answers, it's about embracing the unknown. The more we learn, the more we realize how much we don't know. From the ancient light of Methuselah's star to the far-off galaxies captured by the James Webb Space Telescope, the universe is filled with paradoxes, mysteries, and wonders that challenge our understanding of space, time, and existence itself. As we continue to explore, we might find that the very fabric of reality is stranger than we ever imagined and the answers we seek could lead to even more profound questions. In the grand cosmic tale, we are still writing the first chapters. Whether our universe is 